good that I've never seen him before, but I'm looking forward to it. Give it up for Mr. John Morley. I would like to take the time to lead y'all in a prayer. <laughs> In nomine Patri et Filii et Spiritus Sancti, Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Can I get an amen? Amen. All right, I'm not the only weirdo in here. <laughs> for those of you that didn't know, the kind of fruit that Jesus was, was a mango. <laughs> You're not supposed to laugh at that. That's not a good joke. Um, the next part is, whenever I, uh, whenever that joke doesn't go over, I go ahead and blame God. <laughs> Say it how you want me to say it, Lord. I added the southern accent. <laughs> so, I saw a Jamaican guy jogging the other day, and I was like, whoa, man, what are you trying to break the blood-brain barrier? They're always trying to get high. Joggers. <laughs> good, good. I mean... People come in all shapes and sizes, truly, but I love black people the most. I love... <laughs> Buckle up. <laughs> my love for black people is like my love for God. I love him because I fear his wrath. <laughs> okay, good. Now we're offending people. I have this thing with gay guys. Like, uh, how much anal sex does it take before you have to wear diapers all the time? <laughs> See gay guys wear tight capris. You'd see a diaper. Think they use butt plugs, maybe? No? Fuck this. <laughs> hey! <laughs> the one advantage yeah. that the vagina has over the homosexual in that lifestyle, and I don't judge, but it's the vagina is died and is reborn. It is died. <laughs> the vagina goes like this. It's like. Childbirth turns the vagina into jazz hands. <laughs> and powerful doctors sew that shit back up, you're good to go. It takes six weeks, actually. I don't know why I know that. <sighs> I was gonna do a joke about licking assholes, but I feel like a... <laughs> I just feel like a Michael Jackson joke is gonna go a little better. I ain't trying to come around here. I ain't no macho man. Straight to you guys, I'm not a macho man. I'm gonna do exactly as you say, Michael Jackson. Go home and jerk it off all day. Because when Michael Jackson tells you to beat it, you better go until that shit's raw. Okay. You like that one? Remember the one where I was scared of black people? It's not true. I have two black friends. I guess not. <laughs> killing time, killing time. So here's another fun fact. If you're a fat girl, you never really have to cross your legs. It's like time to tap there. Conflict diamonds are a lot like children. I don't have any. I never lose them ever. Did you just light me, Jinx? Oh, shit. <laughs> Fuck it, I'll do the fucking... Okay. Isn't love amazing, guys? Anybody in love in here? You guys? This guy's fucking arms are bigger than my whole neck. <laughs> are, you, are, are either of you in love? Yeah, of course. Yeah. Okay, good. You'll like this then. Love will make a woman give head and a man do anything. <laughs> if a girl tells me she loves me, I have no qualms putting my tongue in her ass. She doesn't even have to mean it. That was a tongue and asshole joke. I just decided to do it. I probably killed it because I told you about it already, but fuck it. Has anybody tossed a coin in a well recently? No. You're full. Yeah. Okay. Good. Um. Shh. <laughs> <laughs> There's a lot of wells in Calgary, so what I like to do is I just make a wish every time I drop a quarter in a homeless man's cup. Oh my god. Time, James. I can't read this analog watch. <laughs> He's gonna let me know. I'm glad you guys are enjoying it. I was a little worried. 
It's a true story about the tongue and the ass thing. It's not even... That's the sad part. Most of this is true. Okay. <laughs> Who hates traffic? Okay. Well, I used to ride a motorcycle, so the rules pretty much don't apply to me. The one setback about riding a motorcycle is it pretty much limits roadhead to daredevil sluts. <laughs> I know a hooker in Nairobi that will do it on a bicycle for 30 Kenyan shillings, which is the equivalent to a handshake from a white person. <laughs> for a fist bump, you can shit in her mouth. <laughs> thank you, thank you. I think I have like 10 seconds left, so I'm just going to do something really romantic. Hi, Laura. Don't worry, she's laughing. <laughs> Wherever she is in my imagination. Okay. Um, oh, really, really quick. I really wish that I had the resources to shave a bear down to just the top of its head. And here's just a little imagery for you. It's just like, brr, top of Mrs. Likes it. But will that bitch take even one second to clean the rocks out of her snatch come springtime? I don't think so. Thank you. I've been Jonathan Morley. This is my last performance in Calgary ever. Have a good show.